As we all anticipate the arrival of the PS5 this winter, it's time we all cherish our last months with the PS4 and get the most out of the console. Learn some secrets you've never tried before, some shortcuts not published in the official manual, and cool ways to ensure your PS4 always stays online. By the end of this video, you'll have completely mastered your PS4 and can share these tips with whoever you sell your console to so you have more spending money for the PS5. And hopefully a bunch of the tips work with the PS5, including a fun way to use Nintendo Switch controllers with your PS4 games. Is your home internet out? Are you desperate to get one more round of Fortnite in? Did your mom slash roommate slash neighbor you've been stealing internet from change the Wi-Fi password on ya? Well, we've got you covered. The PS4 doesn't just connect to Wi-Fi, you can actually connect to hotspot connections through your cell phone. Now, this is only recommended for those with unlimited data plans, otherwise you'll be racking up way too many gigs of extra charges. Simply turn on your hotspot access on the phone and check out the available connections within the PS4 menu. To maximize the speed, we recommend you turn off all PS4 downloads, all your phone updates, and get out of any running apps. For the more advanced user, you could actually run a direct line to the PS4 using your phone's hotspot. A router with a USB input allows you to connect your phone, use OpenWRT software, and set up a direct connection to the phone. With a wired connection, you'll have more consistent speeds and avoid cursing out Verizon for any lag you may suffer through. The setup is a little more complicated, but plenty of online tutorials will guide you along the way. Ever want to examine something without moving your character in close? Text hard to read? Want to check out some hidden easter eggs placed in the back of levels? Well, it's about time you activate the PS4 Zoom features! And no, when we talk about PS4 and Zoom, we're not talking about a digital video conference with all your friends. Nah, we're talking about literally zooming in on the screen. Go to Settings, Accessibility, and activate the Zoom option. At any point, use the Square and PlayStation button combo to enjoy the quick zoom. Yeah, this is especially helpful on the PS4 web browser for all those websites who decide to use ultra-small fonts. How in the world are we supposed to see the ingredients for 13-layer nacho dip when the font is so small? Well, thanks to the PS4 Zoom feature for our answer. Repeat the same functions to zoom out again. Simple and easy. We all know the PS4 is a powerful machine, and the PS4 Pro is even more powerful. But how many of you are actually taking advantage of the multi-screen app options? No, you cannot run two games at the same time, but you can do so much more. Following a YouTube walkthrough while you try to collect all the trophies in Spider-Man? Well, keep YouTube open and alternate back and forth. There's no need to put your DualShock down to grab a laptop or have a multi-screen setup surrounding your game zone. Simply open the app first, then load the game. With a double tap of the PlayStation button, you can alternate between the screens extremely quickly and do not need to compromise your game time. Enjoying your own Spotify tunes while you cruise around in Grand Theft Auto? Well, simply use the double tap to go back and forth and change tracks as needed. You do not need to sit through another bad song again. Once you get used to the screen switches, you'll be swapping and going back and forth in no time. Doesn't it feel like all the games we purchase are going through endless updates and patches? Yeah, fixing bugs in games is one of the best parts of the modern gaming era. But the updates definitely become annoying over time. Well, if you're looking to see what actually changed in the games you play, the PS4 stores all of the patch notes for the updated games. While on the game icon, select Options, and then go down to the Patch Notes section. View how many times a game updated and what those patches included. It's an easy way to see when more trophies were added, if any features were put into the game, or if bugs were fixed. Did you have a shortcut kickoff bug to defeat your opponent every time in Madden NFL? Well, you'll know exactly when EA Sports removed that bug so you don't try to exploit the trick over and over again. As long as you have the game on your system, you can view previous patch notes to check out the evolution of the game over time and truly figure out why some games are wasting gigs and gigs of space on your precious hard drive. After spending years dealing with an on-screen keyboard, do you now regret making your password no one knows my password, haha? <laughs> well, we sure do because it takes about five minutes to type the dang thing in. The on-screen keyboard is a nightmare, but don't worry, because we know a trick that will double or triple your typing time. 
Whenever the dreaded keyboard comes up on the screen, activate the motion control features. Press the R3 button down and boom, motion controls are activated. Now you can move and weave your way to spell out words in seconds. The feature truly makes going from A to Y so much easier than tap 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 tap. Along with motion controls, the touchpad also offers quick navigation around the keyboard. In short, you should probably never use the D-pad again to type in options. You're wasting time and driving us crazy. Especially when there's a mistake and you have to retype the whole thing in again. Oh, you thought we were done talking about keyboard typing options? Not quite because now we have a third method to your typing woes, and a few extra tips as well. Download the PlayStation app. The app isn't just a place for Sony to shill out their latest games and send you push notifications on titles you'd never purchase. Okay, yeah, that's part of it, but not our focus here. Once you download the PlayStation app, log into your account, and then connect the app to your current PS4. When you're ready to type, the app displays an on-screen keyboard so you don't even need the DualShock controller to type. This is extremely useful for chatting in a game, doing searches, and having to type out something long. The app isn't just a digital keyboard, though. If you have your eyes set on a new game, the PlayStation app gives you the chance to shop and purchase the game. Want to download instantly even if you're not home? Just make sure you keep your PS4 in rest mode instead of turning the whole thing off. The rest mode is essentially standby and will keep the PS4 active for downloads. To ensure the downloads work, go to Settings, Power Save Settings, and Set Functions Available in Rest Mode. Turn the download options on and you're good to go for all your PlayStation game downloads, baby. Yeah, we've been talking about typing for far too long, especially when you can do so much on the PS4 with voice control. Using either a headset or the PlayStation camera, the voice controls allow you to navigate menus, start specific games, and access settings on the PlayStation. The process is no different than using Siri or Alexa, except Sony didn't give its AI a fancy name. Once activated, simply say PlayStation, followed by your command. Activate the voice feature by going to Settings, then System, Voice Operation Settings, and toggle the checkbox for Operate PS4 with Voice. The commands vary, and pressing the L2 button will toggle the voice commands on and off. Through the voice menus, check out the full list of commands so you can start memorizing all the ways to talk and control the PS4. If you're in an intense game and don't want to mess up your controls, you could command the PlayStation to start recording footage, stop recording, and save clips. The hands-free option allows you to focus on the game itself and ensure your playing is in top form while you record. While you may love everything about the PS4, you might not be the biggest fan of the DualShock controller. Have some light bar fatigue? Analog stick cramps? Well, we have a solution. Choose your controller of choice, the Xbox One controller or the Nintendo Switch Joy-Cons. For the Xbox One, a third-party device like the Cronus Max Plus gives you a wired connection. Yeah, wireless would be ideal, but beggars can't be choosers. At least we have the option. A Japanese company released the Super Converter, which not only allows you to use Joy-Cons with the PS4, but you have your pick of pretty much any Nintendo controller. The Switch Pro controller offers a nice alternative. The only downfall with the controllers is taking the extra time to figure out the proper button mapping for each game. Of course, you wouldn't go competitive with any of the controller setups, but they are a fun way to enjoy the novelty and brag to your friends. Nothing like a quick Instagram Live video of you playing Uncharted with your Joy-Cons. Back in 2014, Sony celebrated the 20th anniversary of the original PlayStation. To highlight this, the company quietly released a free 20th anniversary theme upgrade. And despite being more than six years old, the theme pack is still free and still available within the PlayStation Store. One of the biggest highlights in the pack is the startup option for the PS4. Instead of the usual bleeps and bloops, you can go old school and start up the PS4 with the original PS1 sounds. Ah, how can a simple sound effect bring back so many great gaming memories? On some consoles, the PS4 beeps will try to overtake the classic sounds. But there's a quick fix. Go to Settings, Sound, and then Screen. Once there, toggle off the key sound and you're good to go. Keep the feature on for endless nostalgia and dream of a day when Sony didn't completely botch the release of the PlayStation Classic. The theme has other options, including wallpapers and alternate icons. But we're all about the sound effect. Now it's about time we got a PS2 edition with more classic sound options. Even with all the digital platforms available, the PS4 still rocks a pretty powerful Blu-ray player, and there's no need to worry about internet speeds when playing an HD movie on a Blu-ray disc. If you don't take advantage of the Blu-ray player enough, well, you should. This console is a beast when it comes to movies, and there are a bunch of features you could use in the future. For example, if you're binging all the Game of Thrones seasons, 
And, uh, if you are, we're sorry. Don't lose your spot just because you want to play a game. Pause an episode, press the PS button, and then eject the disc as needed. The next time you insert the disc, the PS4 will actually remember your spot and resume the TV show or movie exactly where you left it. Go ahead, rewatch season 8 of Game of Thrones all you want. Also, check out the angle button on the Blu-ray menu. Certain Blu-rays and DVDs allow you to change the angle on scenes. Although very rare, you could watch alternate angles available in several concert films and sports documentaries. Some special features include angle options allowing you to switch scenes before and after special effects were applied. Whew. Okay, you're free to go play around with your PS4 now. Let us know what you discover. What's your favorite new feature? Ours is definitely the alternate methods of using the on-screen keyboard. The voice feature isn't bad either. Tell us in the comments down below. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to The Gamer for more great content. We're gonna go rewatch Season 8 of Game of Thrones. Oh boy.